Welcome back to Real Talk, and our show today is all about art, mm -hmm. which is why earlier on the show we did a little bit of scrapbooking, yes. something I haven't done since I was a little Aww. girl. But you know, you flex your uh, artsy side once in a while. And then of course we sat down with the ladies of Art Fair Philippines. Mm -hmm. Well now we are truly honored and lucky to have with us, we have the CEO of the International Arts and Artists, we have David Furchgott. Welcome Thank to the welcome. Philippines. And of course, uh, we are so proud uh, proud of you, our local artist, Luis Lorenzana. Thank you. Welcome. 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 Thank you. Okay, so uh, Luis, your journey was not an easy one. Yeah. You you started your your artwork, mm. but no one was buying. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Uh, actually, start. I, I took up a different course when I was mm. in college in UP Diliman. I took up public administration. After graduating, I uh, I went to the Senate. I worked mm. there for three years, and then um, art school. Uh, if possible, you should you should go. Mm. Uh, the most important thing there is the the mentorship of your professors okay. too. And then when you graduate, you 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 are already they are already your contemporary uh, your 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 mentors friends. So all your classmates will be there. You've been yeah. exhibiting since student, since you were students. Yes. And then now you professionally work together. That's that's what I don't have. Yes. Uh, a, a um, mentor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, so so Dave, you um fresh off the plane. Practically. <laughs> 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 yeah. How did you guys find each other? Well, actually, Ken Hakuta, who mm -hmm. uh, has uh, been uh, your patron, yes. you would say. Uh, is an old friend of mine. We have worked together on other things in the past, many years now. And Ken brought uh, Luis to visit with me in Washington, and mm. we discussed not specifically so much his work. At the beginning, we were talking about what it could take to bring Philippine art to the U.S. Uh -huh. in, in general. And, uh, mm -hmm. and we decided, uh, my organization, mm -hmm. which is a nonprofit that uh, I've run for now yeah. 20 some odd years, does primarily exhibitions that tour the U.S. to introduce people from other cultures yes. to American audiences. That's well, the what, major what, what would you say is the one thing that Luis and other Filipino artists have that, that sparked your interest and would want to actually feature them mm -hmm. in a big, big ocean like, like the United <laughs> States? Mm -hmm. Well, it is a big ocean there, and, yes. it's, and it's very hard to get uh, introduced new art because there's so much happening in the U.S. already, so much coming from so many other places. Yeah. But Luisa's work was of interest particularly because this particular series talks about the history of the Philippines. Mm -hmm. And I think that it introduces an opportunity for Americans to understand not just the art that's taking place here, but the culture and how it's evolved. Mm -hmm. And I think it's very important. And because it's, his initial work was about the... Yeah. <clears throat> The, the the first series of artworks yeah. I did after after uh, my Senate stint or the the memories and inspiration coming from from my work there yeah. the love for the country is very night you know exciting yes. Yes. Um, so I wanted to translate it in a in a very pop way but still maintaining that uh, overall idea of uh, we are forgetting our past mm -hmm, mm -hmm. we are forgetting the the people. Uh, who who sacrificed their lives yes. for us? And no one was buying your artwork. Yes, because and, uh, and it was this archival work. Uh, yeah, it was so hard. It was so hard. But the artist now is very different. Young guys after after graduation, they already have. They were already. They already have lots of platforms for them to to show their art. Please tell us about the book. Um, well, the book Lorenzo was the first idea. Yeah. Yes, and the book actually is. Uh, the idea that came out of that first visit. Yeah. Uh, because we didn't really believe that it would be possible to take the art artist, whether it's Luis yeah. or others, and introduce them to museums. You know, museums are very good. They're very popular in the U.S., but they also have a very limited uh, time about what they can show. So yeah. this book was an idea that we could present the work. We could present it to museums. We could present Make it to it more people. Make it have yeah. people more familiar with the work. easier to, to, to and, and yes, yes. this also, you know, Luis's mm -hmm. work is full of passion. Mm -hmm. Passion about his country, passion about his relationships. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, well, this is not just a simple narrative about, about uh, uh, Philippine history. Yeah. Right? These are your works from yes. 2005. 2005 to 2008, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, you know, the thing is, he got noticed. 
because he was a notice here. He went he went abroad mm -hmm. and he begged, can you please show my work? <laughs> right? And, and, and you're gathering all of these things and then you make it abroad and all of a sudden you you're popular here. Like like in most art the yes, pieces, the singer right. or the yes. theater. Um my first show was not here. Yeah, it's not, yes, uh, it's in the it's States. In the States yeah. yeah. And I was oh, I was really, you know, uh Thinking so hard, why why can artists uh, ha have a break here? Do they have to go first to to be recognized abroad? Uh, abroad. Why is that? Uh, what are the tips, perhaps, that you can give uh, some, um, you know a, an, another artist out there that's dreaming of <clears throat> maybe attaining what you did? Yeah, every time I talk with to, with young artists and then they ask me, how, how did you do it? Um, uh, I, I first ask them how, how how many hours do you work for a day? Mm -hmm. Honing your craft, uh, reading your reading the books, looking at the artworks. Uh, you can now see them around using internet, so mm -hmm. it's very easy now. So I th I I told them um, that when I was starting out, I worked fourteen hours a day. So you have to work hard. Yes. Yes. And um, be professional. If you are asked to to for a deadline, if you are going to have an exhibit. You should, you're already you're already finished one week or two weeks before the show. You 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 you're, you're not putting wet canvas on the wall. Mm -hmm. uh, the hard work is true, but you also have to have something very significant to st to say because yes. Yes. being a craftsman and being able to craft your work that's only the first step. Mm -hmm. this, this, the, the other the other step is having something that's significant to convey because. There's a, there are a lot of artists out there. Thank, thank you so much. Thank, thank you, you both. Thank you, and thank you yeah. for thank you. Thank you. Well, I'm sure your story, um, and of course you, a, a lot of our young artists will definitely be very inspired yeah. to really work harder yeah. and uh, reach for their dreams. Yeah. All right. Well, well, you know, it's truly an honor. I mean, I, I love the art scene. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I think the Philippines is, is booming, and we're excited. Yes. So many artists right now, yeah. mm -hmm. and it's time we got recognized. Yeah, it's, it's time. It is definitely time. So to all our viewers, you know, come out and support the art scene that is um, booming right now here in the Philippines. And to all of our viewers, we will see you again soon here on Real Talk.